Raid G for general audiences. The engines on the island of Sodor look forward to Halloween. They love the Fat Controller's fireworks. And the children dressing up as wizards and witches. They also love Edward's spooky stories. They say that on Halloween, the ghost engine returns to the smelters looking for his lost woo woo whistle. Ooh, ah, spooky, the engine said, all shivering a little. Later, the fat controller arrived. Thomas, Percy, and Duck, I have a special job for you. You are to collect some scrap from the smelter's yard tonight. On Halloween? Don't worry, you'll be back in time for the fireworks. Percy isn't worried about missing the fireworks, teased Thomas. He's a scaredy engine. I am not, called Percy, but he was a little. At the smelters, all Percy could think about was Edward's ghost engine. Thomas knew Percy was scared, so he teased him even more. What's, What's that, that up, up there? there? Thomas squeaked. Is, Is this spook? It's, it's just, just a piece, a piece of, of twisted, twisted scrap, scrap, said Percy nervously. Isn't it? Thomas was having fun. He kept on teasing Percy. Careful, yeah, the ghost engine doesn't get you. you. Thomas teased. There's no such thing as ghosts, snapped Percy. Duck felt sorry for Percy. Nobody's brave all the time, said Duck. But I'm not a scared engine, Percy insisted. The job was nearly complete. Well done, the yard manager said. Now I'll need one engine to finish up. Duck wanted to pay Thomas back for all his teasing. Please, sir, said Duck. I'm sure, I'm sure Thomas, Thomas wouldn't mind staying. staying. Of course uh, not. Thomas oh, I'm not to scare the engine. So Duck and Percy left. When Thomas was by himself, every sound and every shout was spooky. He was beginning to feel very scared. There's no such things as ghosts, he said nervously. Who's there? Thomas was so busy looking for ghosts, he didn't watch where he was going. The chains felt like ghost fingers. Stop and stop me! Thomas wished and set off an old steam whistle. Go, 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 ghost whistle! Said Thomas, and he steamed away as fast as his wheels could carry him. It was naughty of Thomas to tease you, Percy, said Duck. He was only playing, said Percy. But I hope he hurries up. I wouldn't want him to be late for the fireworks. He's after me! I don't think he'll be late, said Duck. Duck and Percy joined the other engines for the fireworks. Where's Thomas? Percy asked. He'll miss all the fun. It would serve him right after all his teasing, Duck said. But Percy was worried. He went to go look for his friend. He found Thomas all alone in the shed. Are you alright, Thomas? He said. Yes, I'm sorry I teased you, Percy, Thomas said. Duck was right. We all feel scared sometimes. And we ought to say sorry sometimes, said his friend. So come on, Thomas. We can watch the fireworks just as well from here. And he was right.